Hi actors, it's Wendy Lane Wright, talent manager at WAW Entertainment in Los Angeles, California. And um, I'm getting ready to wind up my day today. I'm gonna go actually go finish binge watching Lost. I'm so in love with that darn show. And I have been binge watching Lost now for a week. Every time I finish work, I go right back to it and I'm um, just finishing up season four. And when the show originally came on, I had seen through season four, but I never saw five and six. So I went back into it 10 years later or whatever and caught myself up. I'm almost done with four and now I'm going to go into season five and six. I can't wait. I love television. I love television and I love film and I love actors. And I know some of you kids out there love acting and television too. And so I just thought I'd do this little quick video for you guys. Um, I got this this little Facebook post today, a uh, um, private message from this really cool kid. He's one of the coolest kids I've ever spoken to who wants to get into this business. And his name is Corey, and I love him. And he said something about um, kid actors I see don't seem like it was a problem to break into the industry. Like they just practiced and their parents took care of the rest. So, Corey, my darling, I wanted to um, address you and other kids who are watching television and maybe think it's not a big deal to break into the industry. You are right about one thing. Parents do have to do the rest. They have to do a lot. But it does take uh, quite a bit of effort to break into the industry. And I just want to tell you kids how you can break in the industry. Like I always say, you've got to get some acting training. But if you're really young, you just need improv training improvisation training just to loosen up and learn how to take direction and 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 just kind of get into a structured environment without interfering with your natural ability but as you get a little, little older you know seven eight nine ten eleven you need acting classes and so wherever you are ask your parents if you can get into some acting classes and go look for a community theater or a local school that gives acting classes and definitely do any theater that is in your elementary school or your junior high school. Audition for whatever you can. Go talk to the theater director and say you want to be in a play. Um, to get on television is a totally different thing. Once you've built a little bit of experience acting in your school or in a community theater, um, you could get some pictures taken and have your parents send them to agencies that are local in your area. So if you live in Pennsylvania or Kentucky or Florida or wherever you can just see what you look for the biggest city near you might be an hour or two drive I don't know and then send some headshots to the agency that's closest to you a commercial agency and see if maybe you could start doing commercials that's a really great place to start for kids because they don't expect a lot of experience yet for commercials commercials are where most kids start and you can do two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen 10, 15 commercials. That helps you get experience on the set and builds your resume up a little bit. And it's maybe put some money in your pocket. And it's a really great way to get started because they don't expect a whole lot of training for commercials. They want your kid spontaneity, that energy that you kids have naturally. Uh, you haven't lost it. You know, it's just fresh and exciting. You have energy and your reactions are really good. And... And um, you guys thrive in commercials and casting directors will bring in brand new people for commercials. And kids who've never done anything before can book a commercial because it's really based on your look and the way you sound, the way you move and the way you talk and all that kind of stuff. So definitely start in commercials, okay? But if you're gonna get on television like Disney or Nickelodeon or any of those kind of shows, that takes a lot more work. And you really need to have some really good acting skills to do that. You need to have a whole lot of training because the kids who are on Disney, wow, they've been really well trained. Okay, so, and then they have also have to know a lot of those casting directors. So, you know, if you have an agent that will submit some of your self tape, that means you have a, an iPhone at home or whatever, and you tape the role or the audition material yourself at home, and then your agent mails it through the email to a casting director for a big show, sometimes they may really like what they see and call you in to audition and pay for you to fly in to audition for that. But a lot of times, you know, you kind of need to be near L.A. to do that. 
but sometimes out of state agents will send you, submit you by tape. I mean, tape is becoming more popular these days. But I would be careful to don't don't think you're going to get on a Disney show or something right off the bat if you're just starting out. You got you got to think of it this way. Let's talk let me talk to the teenagers now. Hi teenagers. I know how excited you all are, your young kids and your teenagers about breaking into the business. I had that dream when I was a kid too. So I want to help you understand how to, to really do it. Uh, a kid said to me this morning that there's a new movie um, being cast with Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart down in Louisiana. And he wanted to know how he'd get into that movie. And, you know, listen, you could get lucky and send your picture to the casting office there and they may like your look and bring you in. Or if you've had some acting experience, you know, they may decide to bring you in for an audition. I think they might, I'm not even sure if they're having open calls or whatever it is but for that film, but sometimes they have open calls and you can go in and audition for a film. But you got to really make sure you're speaking up, you're, you're, you know, you know the material, you've memorized it, and you're really being, um, have a lot of energy, and you're not being shy. We don't really prefer shy kids in the business. That's not the kind that are going to go in there and be fearless, you know, and you got to be not afraid, you know. And um, the other main thing is that you really need to be trained also. So if you're a teenager and you want to get into the business, you have to think of it like, think of it like a pro football player. You're watching on television, you're watching Pittsburgh Steelers and the Dallas Cowboys and they're playing football. Did that kid just call up the Pittsburgh Steelers and say, hey, I want to be on your team because I love football and I really want to play? That's not how that kid, that, that's not how that man became a pro football player, okay? Let's rewind. Now we're back at flag football when he's just a kid. And he's, his dad's cheering him on the sidelines and he's in there, you know, playing football and he loves it. And he says, dad, I love this game. I want to keep playing. Someday I want to be a professional football player. Great goal, son. And then he gets into the uh, junior high school football team. And then he gets onto the high school football team. And he's practicing every day. And he's really focused and working really hard. And he's so good on his high school football team, he becomes like the most valuable player of his high school. And pretty soon the whole school's talking about him. And all the other schools in the neighborhood that are playing that team, they're talking about him. He's getting written up in the newspaper. And he's just like one of the most outstanding players on the team because he works the hardest. And now college recruits are coming to the high school looking for him. And they're like, this kid is amazing. We want him to play for our college. That kid's like the best in his school. We want him on our team. So now all these colleges want him. And they take him because he's worked so hard and he's done such a good job. And he's been practicing for so many years that he's really good. So they take him to the college and he plays college ball. Sometimes you see that on television because all of those college games are broadcast on TV. But he's so good. You know, he scores the most touchdowns or whatever. He blocks the most or he runs the most miles, yards. <laughs> and he just really stands out. He becomes like the most valuable player on his college team because he trains every day. He works really hard. Um, he's practicing his skills and his techniques, and he takes it really seriously. And he's serious. He wants to become a pro football player. Now the pros come scouting all the colleges every year looking for the best players. And they pull them out into something called the draft. And every year, college players are drafted into the major NFL. And now the guy gets picked up for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And he's playing pro football on a major team, just like he dreamed when he was a kid. Well, your acting career is very similar to that. Just the only difference is you're not playing ball, you're acting. And you can start right where you are as a kid. So this is to all you kids and teens who want a career in acting. Start with the theater. The theater is like flag football. It's like junior high school football or high school football. It is where you start. You start in the theater. You start by doing plays. There are different kinds of theaters. There are community theaters, which means they're private organizations in your community that put on plays that you can be in. And you could learn a role and get up there and do that. And an audience comes in and watch. And that gives you experience being on stage. And then there, your schools have a theater. 
And sometimes there are schools that are just for acting or music if you're like really, you know, interested in going to a private school or some kind of artistic school that has a really big theater program. And in your high school, try to get into every production you can. Even if you're working in the background or the choir or the chorus or you have a small part, a big part, take every part because you need experience and you can put those on your resume. And then you should always be studying and practicing. You know, watch TV and see what kind of roles are on TV for people just like you. Watch how the, how the actors act. Watch a lot of movies. Read books about actors who've become successful, like autobiographies. Or go to Wikipedia and type in your favorite actor and look at their career. Or go to IMDb and look up any actor that you love and look back at their career and watch where they started like 10 years ago with a little project and it kept growing and growing and growing and got another job and another job and another job and now they're a star on TV. It never happens overnight. And look and see where these people are training. You can Google them and find out where they went to school to train for their acting classes and stuff. It's, it's a process. No one jumps into it overnight. So if you kids are serious about being an actor, you've got to tell your parents, look, I'm serious about being an actor. And I'm going to train really hard. And I'm going to do all the theater that I can. And when I feel really good about my skills and my talents, and I really believe in myself, I'm going to start auditioning for commercials. Because commercials, they take a lot of kids. And then I'm going to start auditioning for TV shows. And that's how it works, okay? So I want you kids to like really understand you can't just beam yourself into a TV show. You've got to work your way up, okay? And if you, you know, get books to learn about how to do that. I write a great book called Secrets of a Hollywood Talent Manager. Have your parents buy it for you. It is something you two can read together so your parents understand the business and they know how it works so they can help you. Your parents have to do so much of it, you know, because when you're a kid, they got to drive you around to auditions. They got to drive you to the job. They got to pay for your acting classes unless you get a paper route or like start walking dogs or whatever you got to do. I know this kid who was baking cookies and selling all her cookies so she could take the money and get her headshots. And she's just 17 years old. Some kids are not waiting for their parents to do it all, you know? So you could do it too. Figure out a way to make money so that you can do your headshots. Anyway, if you have more questions, you can always email me, kids. Wawentertainment at yahoo.com or have your parents email me and I would be happy to help you so that you could really go after what you dream of, okay? So goodbye for now. I'm going to go in and binge watch Lost on television. And I love you, kids. I'm going to spend more time talking to you guys in the future. Take care.